All right, all right. Shalom. That means peace. This video is going to be impromptu. Um, pretty much, it's going to go into why they canceling uh, Kanye West, and also what Kanye West is speaking on. The elders of Great Millstone spoke on for decades, man. It's nothing new, and that's how you. That's how you know um, who controls the power. Because when you can't speak about a certain group of people, that's how you know that that certain group of people possess a lot of power, right? So Kanye West wanted to go out and speak his his truth, so to say, right? Now nah, you couldn't do that. And when he did that, um, a lot of people started calling him anti-Semitic. Why? Because he simply was speaking the truth. See, the only reason why I'm bringing this out because so many people are speaking about it. But this ain't nothing new. You see the men of the Lord on the corners every week. We're uploading videos every day. Right? But if if it's someone of renowned, oh, yeah, yeah, he right, he right. You, it's like you look up to them as being celebrities. It's like you're looking up to him. As being uh, uh, um, Herod or something, or Pontius Pilate or something, right? Like he's one of those Edomite renowns of the of the eighty times. But nonetheless, though, I'm not gonna run my mouth too much. I'm gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna play some of this video and I'm gonna commentate on it. All right. So what happened was this nigga got pissed when he came out with the all white lies thing shirt, right? Mm -hmm they jumped on him and canceled four of his major shows. Yeah. Like, major Chisai, money. Chisai, yeah, the other show. He and mentioned Kazars? Just so, tell me wait. that. So, no, he was. Well, so he said, the, he said the, he their said name. Kazars. He said their name. I'm, we're, uh, we're calling them Kazars. We're switching the name. So they don't even want to say the small hats, right? The Jays. The 1948 is living in the land of Israel. Because they, they know if you say their name, oh, we're going to cut you. We're going to cancel you. I remember something Elder Malcolm said. He said, the truth doesn't need to be backed by law. They're the only people on the face of the earth that you can't say that they are not who they claim they are. Something, something, is, something smell fishy. Even a blind man can tell he by a fish market if you walk by one. But this, that, that joke goes somewhere else. But let's continue. So he said, yo, I'm going DEFCON on them cats after they canceled his four shows. So that's when they came out and said, oh, he's anti-Semitic. <laughs> they came out and said, he's anti-Semitic. So everybody started to pull away from him. So that's when he went on and he was like, you know what? Because he... So what happened was he wore the White Lives Matter shirt and people was upset with him that was pulling away from him because, you know, he's very controversial. So Kanye West was like, oh, okay. And nonetheless, later on in his video, they were mentioning you can't be anti-Semitic. So-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are Hebrew Israelites. All right. Um, when Noah woke up, when he was on the ark, did not he say, "Blessed be the God of Shem"? And our fact side came out of Shem. Tahor, which would be um Abraham's father, came out of Shem. Abraham came out of Shem. Isaac came out of Shem, and Jacob came out of Shem. So how can we be anti ourselves? That's what he's trying to say. Oh no, we're gonna counsel you. It's like. If the truth is in, if the truth is in the pudding, and in, in the same books that your people actually published, what seems to be the problem? Well, the problem is you have the prince of the air that's ruling. All right. <clears throat> Continuing. He was holding the game back. You know, they, they how you get to the billions? They was giving them up the game, and he was holding it back. So when he said, "I'm going DefCon on them," that meant I'm about to spill the beans on y'all. So when he went on Drink Champs, he went on there and started telling everything. Yeah, they control all our voices. They control this. They control that. They control this. When we want to do this, when when one of us when one of us do great, uh, it's just that one. When one when one of us when we do bad, it's all of us who do bad. Yeah. It's the opposite for them. When one Job nine twenty four, the earth given to the hands of the wicked. They cover the faces of the judges that rub. If not, where who are they? Right? So when they when a certain group of people tell you you can't talk about these certain group of people, and then when some of the quote unquote hardest, roughest, rugged people of ours 
tend to tuck their tails between their legs and back away and say, nah, bro, you ain't doing this right. That lets you know them niggas ain't got no power. Huh? They licking and, 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 and slurping out of the hands of their oppressors. But Jake walk around like they so big and bad and tough, right? of them do great. It's all of them who's great. And when on one of them do bad, it's only that motherfucker. It's only that guy. I mean, he okay. was killing it. What's a Semite? Let's break this shit the fuck down hmm. right now. I'm tired of it. Listen, oh, what he, said that too. he said we the real. That's what he said. We the real ones. So how can I be anti-Semitic huh? when we the real ones like huh? that? He, I'm that's what they mad at. He said, how can I be? That what Kanye West said. Kanye West said, how can I be anti-Semitic when we're the real ones? That's what got them upset. At the beginning of this video, you will see, well, actually, the thumbnail, you will see where it says, honk, if you believe what Kanye West said was right about the Jays or whatever. Oh, that's anti-Semitic. Oh, it's very dangerous. And, you know, they even have a, um, a news clip out that I'm going to put at the end of this video. Where they say a truck drove by and threw out a bag and they had anti Semitic remarks in it. And then the, the, the Jays talking about, yeah, this is very dangerous. And it, you people control the world. You control the entire world. Like 95% of everything that get displayed on TV, you control. The music, you control. So all this, all this. Um, evil music, all of this debauchery, this sex, drugs, violence, sexual over sexuality, the bestiality, the transmissions. I got you know, you know, you really know what I want to say, right? Right, the buys, all of that, the alphabet soup group. You allowing that to happen? You, you're ruling the world right now. So if you so if you are the people, right, where's David? Why are there still wars in the world, right? I, I, have, I have questions. I have questions. But nonetheless, I mean, he was dropping it. <laughs> he came out dropping it. So. Well, it's, it's real <laughs> simple, man. It's He dropped it. And they was like, that's an anti-Semitic statement. You, on, you saying that you're that, you saying that you you that is anti- How was that Dude, the red kid asking, what's a semi? That, which is, you can go back in any history <laughs> and see that's true, but it's anti if I say that. They are full of shit. So, they don't have to deal with the argument when they label it as that. So Kanye West said, if you go into history, you can see it. But they didn't want to attack the argument. They didn't want to attack the character. That's what you call um, at the hominid attack. When you don't speak on the subject at hand, you just directly go at the person. And Kanye West didn't really do himself a service by uh, being, megaloman being a megalomaniac, you know, thinking he's bigger than life and everything. But he already know that we're Israelites. So many of these uh, celebrities know they're Israelites. That's why I'm really making this video because there's no excuse. See, we're doing the foot. Started with the elders of Great Millstone, forgive me. We're all doing the footwork to keep crying aloud and sparing not and gathering the lost sheep of the house of Israel and trying to bit them to the marriage. He's just coming in, but he's coming in behind another man's work. Knowing the truth, well, are you going to give up all of this for salvation? You can't take it with you, right? That's that's the one thing that really upsets me about the situation. The elders were doing this for decades. This man speaks and all, all people want to hang out, hang on um, banners across the bridges. And yeah, yeah, he's right. Yeah, he's right. Okay. We don't want to deal with the actual facts. You're just anti, you're just anti this. Because what's uh, Ben Shapiro? He came out because all of this came about from, you know, Kanye hanging with Candace Parker. Uh, Candace, whatever her name is. Candace Owens. <laughs> Candace Parker. What is her name? What is her name? What's her name? <laughs> Candace Owens. Candace, Candace Parker is a basketball player. So that's how he bought Parler. He bought Parler because her husband owned it, and so he bought Parler. But then, so they come out, you know, and they he talking to her on some on some down low stuff. They're going over. 
So he comes out and he blurts this out and he blurts this now because he's associated with Candace Owens, who's associated with Ben Shapiro and Daily Wire. Ben Shapiro now has to come out. He's like, yo, <laughs> he has to be like, yo, yeah, Candace is with us. But you know we can't control everything that people say and blah blah blah. Now he talked about the statements. Uh, yeah, you know the fact that he says that. See, Candace Owen, she's um, she's a lap dog for Esau. Oh, they're gonna defend her because she defends their issue. So they say, oh, we can't control what he said, but she's with us, right? But let's speak about what he said. You know, <laughs> Ye thought he was safe talking to someone that has the same complexion, but she has a connection that you no longer have anymore. Adidas dropped the man. Like he's not a billionaire anymore and all this other bull job. All because of some words, right? This is supposed to be the land of the free, the home of the brave, right? No, this is the, this is the land of the um sleep, the home of the slave. <sighs> right? Let me bring this piece up out real quick. Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. We, we, we rebuke at the gate weekly by going out on the highways and byways, right? And uploading videos. Now, Kanye West, man, he, he he's bugged out. But he was speaking up rightly when he said, how can I be anti myself when I'm submitted? That's what he said. And this is all for educational purposes. There ain't no hate speech here. Because like, 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 the, like the man was saying right there with his hands up. He said, it's in the books, it's in the evidence. In your own books, really, y'all. I have a book called The Thirteen Tribe. A Jewish rabbi by the name of Arthur Kostler said, if the people they claim to be the Jays today are descended from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they would have to be a 13th tribe. And guess what? They found that man, his wife, and their dog dead in the bed. I wonder why and how. <clears throat> and he's the original. And yes, that's, that's purely anti-Semitic. Like, wait a minute. How is that? Again. Attack the argument. Oh, don't attack. <laughs> right. <laughs> Attack the argument. Don't attack. Don't we? Don't we just label it as some bullshit? Attack what he said. Are you the real ones or not? Hmm. <laughs> like you said, are you the real ones or not? So let me um open up with a precept. Yeah. Well, not open up with a precept. Let me um break out this precept. This is Revelation. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I'm reading the Bible, so don't say this hate speech. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. What makes us rich? The lies, wisdom, and understanding. What makes us holy? Which is what makes us rich. The heritage that we possess. We are a royal nation. The Lord said, I know that you're impoverished right now because of the curses. Of course. We fit the curses of the Bible. Everybody don't want the blessings, but don't nobody want to speak about them curses. Who else needs to be freaking saved? Who needs to be redeemed if they're under curses? Who else need to be? If you are under curses, who else need to be? No one. Because they free. They ruling. Together. Back to Revelation 2 and 9. And I know the blasphemy. A blasphemy is a filthy, wicked lie. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. I'm going to just leave it at that. Right. And like Elder Malcolm said, the truth does not need to be backed by law. So with that being said, I pray I was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without a season. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamash Allah. Wafla Baba. Shalom. Hate on the rise, anti-Semitic flyers and signs popping up around Southern California. And tonight, key people in politics and Hollywood are condemning the incidents. One of them incited by recent comments made by former rapper uh, Ye, now formerly known as Kanye West. KTLA 5's Mary Beth McDade is live in our news center with the late developments. MB. Pedro and Cher, while none of these incidents have resulted in violence, some fear that they may and want to see them stopped. Meantime, Ye apologized today to a Jewish podcaster and to the Jewish community for hurting people with his words. I'm sorry for hurting you as a Jewish person. I'm sorry for the way that made you feel. And I'm sorry for the entire 
uh, population of a race that I feel is actually my brother's. Towards the end of the two and a half hour Lex Friedman podcast, released Monday, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, finally gave an apology for his recent anti-Semitic social media statements. Friedman is a Russian Jew who's currently a research scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This comes in the wake of a wave of anti-Semitic hate incidents in SoCal over the weekend. On Sunday, some residents in Beverly Hills and Westwood woke up to little bags filled with anti-Jewish flyers. We were shocked and just horrified and and then we heard that our neighbors got it as well. A security camera captured a dark colored SUV about 1.30 Sunday morning. The driver tossing something out of the vehicle. I don't think anyone is truly safe when you know that your identity is being targeted in such a violent and extreme way. Beverly Hills Police and the LAPD say they're investigating the flyer incident. On the flyers was the name of a hate group. That same hate group held a demonstration in support of Ye Saturday on LA's west side. They draped a sign on the overpass of the 405 freeway that read, Kanye is right about the Jews. Several in the group were seen giving Nazi salutes. The mayor of Beverly Hills is the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. No matter what race you are, no matter what religion you are, this is hate. The rapper was booted off his social media platforms after making anti-Semitic statements earlier this month and has continued to face fallout. Hollywood's biggest agency, CAA, has reportedly ended its relationship with him. His ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, has made it clear on social media that she stands with the Jewish community. Record companies, fashion designers, and other businesses have all parted ways with the rapper over his anti-Semitic remarks, and several state and local politicians have condemned them.